My name is Jody Parkinson. I'm a journalism major, and I chose it because I love writing and I like telling stories and learning people's point of views on topics and issues going on in the world. And it gives me an opportunity to do what I love, like traveling and everything like that. My minor is theater arts, and so journalism is just a fallback occupation so that I could um, just have something to fall back on if acting doesn't go through. So um, it was just a stable job that I could think of for the future because acting probably won't make as much money. And I also like traveling and writing, and so I thought it was a good way to express what I love and just I love people. so. Um, some of the obstacles I've faced um, going to Fresno State have been, of course, money. I think every student struggles with that and just like whether or not you're going to be getting financial aid and everything. You know, it's kind of like you're just waiting and dependent on what money they can provide you or else I will not be able to go to school without financial aid. And also, um, recently my dad passed away and so I had to move over here because it's just a cheaper area in, in general. It's been a tough transition because I had the opportunity to go to Cal Poly, but that didn't work out just because of all the situations going on right now. My family needs me money-wise and everything like that. Um, yeah, it has affected my department quite a bit. Um, budget cuts has always been in the media. It's important to make people aware of budget cuts and what's going on with our school. Let's see, in an article somewhere, I read like 5% of tuition is going to increase, 5%. And so that affects me greatly if that, if that happens. And also personally, it has affected me because I don't know if the staff would want to stay because they're not getting their benefits as much. So that will like, it'll in turn affect my education and if people if the staff wants to stay because they're getting their budgets cut but on this you'd have to pay an extra amount if you do 16 units or more if I don't want to just take my major courses and if I want to uh, do an outlet class like I like choir and everything um, then it's going to be harder for me to do that because I'll have to pay for the classes that I do enjoy and so I won't have as much as an outlet so that affects me personally I would like to know where the $250 million would be going if it wasn't going to the CSUs. If it doesn't go to them, I just want to know who it's going to because um, we do need to pay off our debt and make reforms instead of just giving us more money to spend. I think that it would be more reasonable for um, the money to go towards our national debt. I know it's going to hurt a lot of people, but it needs to get done so we don't leave it for future generations might as well not dig a bigger hole for us in the future and just get our reforms over with right now. I would vote no on it until I had more information. I would consider it if, I, if it was less important than higher education. I think we could definitely use reform and use it for wiser things at the moment and take those cuts right now rather than in the future. I'm going to graduate in 2014. For graduation pre-planning, um, what I do is I just take my most important classes uh, for my major, of course, and I'm just stuffing it into every semester and just making um, uh, every semester count. For my journalism major, I have to take a DQE test, and um, it's like just like a grammar and punctuation test. So just to, like having knowledge of all the things you have to do ahead of time really helps so you could register for little tests and everything and just um, taking your most important classes first because then you can get those out of the way and then take all the minor ones and um, you just try to be ready for uh, life outside of school um, as early as possible and you'll be more prepared. My advice for undergraduates would be to make appointments with your counselors and ask them questions and uh, just keep asking them until you understand their answers because sometimes you can go to counselor appointments and not know like what you left with is just like you don't understand at all what they said. You can type out a little question sheet so make sure you really understand what they say because confusion can cause you to graduate not on time and also um, just Going through school, for me, it seems just to be like a checklist. You have to follow these certain requirements. So just check off as many things as you can, like right away. Take as many of your classes as possible. Like get, get the most difficult ones out of the way first because then you can just get them over with and you won't have to deal with them anymore. I guess just the fact that you're on your own and you 
kind of don't you don't have anybody pushing you like it's up to you like just it's a lot of responsibility and now like you're living on your own and an apartment and stuff being diagnosed with ADHD and then having to look for help when I didn't want to <laughs> just being independent and being on your own is really tough mostly money issues family's been good very supportive but the money problem has kind of put a strain on the finances back home also. Fortunately, no, or at least I haven't seen it um, because I still get like my financial aid and stuff and I'm covered, so thankfully I don't have to pay. The extra money that I got from financial aid was cut in half. No, it hasn't. That I know of, it hasn't really affected my department, but personally, the budget cuts, I wish I would receive more financial aid because of the whole inability to pay my tuition sometimes. Yeah, well, if it's for the benefit of the students, why not? I... Yeah, well, even though they don't affect me, they affect my friends. I'm not gonna vote this year, I'm too young. I'm not really sure what that is, so I, I don't know. Just have set like what classes, what courses I have to do and take in order for me to continue on the path that I am and talk to my counselors and stuff. Take the right classes, don't take the easy way out. Just continuing to stay on top of my game and go get the right courses that I need in order to graduate. Mostly I just talk to academic advisors and make sure I get my studies all in check.